Get behind Amanda, come on! <laughs> So this prep leading into Worlds, I mean, to be honest, it was very like mentally tough because it was just a big question mark throughout the entire thing. We didn't know if A, we were going to be able to travel over to Sweden or B, if we were going to be allowed at the event. That was pretty much mentally like devastating. Like after we've put in technically years of work since we missed out on Worlds in 2020 as well. This was gonna be our second Worlds that was, you know, taken out from under us. My cut went perfectly for this meet. Like everything was smooth sailing. I woke up the day before my meet at like 85.2 kilo body weight. So I was just a kilo over the weigh in. So I just did a little bit of a, you know, I did a little bit of a sweat session, got that extra weight off and then woke up, hit weigh ins. So everything was great. Then come the recomp process. That's where things started to go wrong. Cause I mean, obviously nothing can ever go perfectly smooth sailing. <laughs> <laughs> Right after weigh-ins, I had a Powerade, or whatever they call it over there, and I had a tri-oral like, salt packet in there. I think it's like three grams of salt. And I downed it right away, which that probably was a bad idea because that much like sodium at once um, and just like such a concentrated like, you know, bottle, I think ended up like working, up, working against me and maybe kind of sick. Something different I did this time was I drank orange juice. <laughs> Big mistake. Well, I bar, so it's not amazing. Like a lot. Yeah, long story short, I tried to make a run for the bathroom, but didn't make it there, and I threw up everywhere in the cafeteria, like all the fluids I drank gone and that's like super important for the recomping process because I lost all the fluids to help rehydrate and get my body weight back up after you know for a two hour competition weigh-in. I, I knew like we were in trouble at that point because you know we're an hour out from hitting the platform and I was not in a good place. I was very very worried but regardless we always open up light um, on our list just to get into the meat. <gasps> I wasn't feeling myself. I wasn't feeling good. Everything was feeling very, very heavy on my back. My coach and I, we knew the ultimate goal was to break my world record squat on my second attempt. So I didn't want to change anything for that.
my third squat, <laughs> my handler, shout out <laughs> Isaac Whistler, I was just like, I can't walk, I feel terrible. I like fell into him <laughs> in his arms. I was feeling absolutely terrible. Usually get a little bit of a break in between each lift. So I thought like, okay, great, after squats here, let's go sit down and try to finally get some fluids in, maybe eat something. I think I got like th three like, I don't know, crackers in my mouth. And then I was told like, nope, you gotta go warm up for bench. I sat down for less than two minutes and that was just like the worst thing someone could have told me at the moment. Yeah, I don't know. I started warming up for bench. My arms were feeling a little bit shaky. Granted, I mean, it's fast meat and I wasn't feeling great after squats. But nonetheless, like, I don't know. I knew we had to get the job done. So we ended up raising my opening attempt up two and a half kilo because I was, I was feeling pretty good, to be honest. Like, 253 flew in the warm up room. So 270 felt reasonable to open up with. confidence after that I mean there was good calls at the meet the presses weren't too long we ended up jumping to 287 for my second attempt honestly smashed it in a meet is kind of like, I hate to say it, it's kind of like the break point for you, you know? Like squats gotta go super hard on, well, bench just isn't as taxing of a lift, is I guess what I'm saying. So I really use that time for bench to, and I was starting to feel a little bit better to get more fluids in. And the second I was able to do that, I started feeling a lot more like myself. I knew I had another two and a half kilo in me, so we bumped it up to 200, 292 pounds. <laughs> That was honestly like, I didn't think that was gonna be there. Like, But after I secured that third bench, more than we thought we were going to get, like I had all the confidence in the world that I'd be able to pull whatever I needed to win best overall lifter still, points wise, because my deadlift is loyal. It shows up when I need it. <laughs> we 
We bumped my opening deadlift attempt as well to 529 pounds, I believe it was. I had all the confidence in the world walking up to that weight. Like, I mean, you could see in the videos, like I don't even get psyched up for it. Like, I think I was smiling walking up because like, I just knew I had that weight in the bag. So walked up, um, pulled the weight, it absolutely flew. And from there, I was like, yeah, Joey, let's just, let's just jump to what we need. So we ended up putting 567 pounds in the bar. And honestly, the weight flew. <laughs> That's why I went out a little bit later for the tent, but holy crap. In training, I use it all the time. Like going out to the platform with my second deadlift attempt, I just like, I just went for it. Just stuck, just stuck my face in the, in the bottle. And let me tell you, like I've used smelling salts a good amount, but like I couldn't breathe. So that's why also I was pacing a little bit back and forth on the platform more than normal. Cause I was just, just trying to breathe, you know, <laughs> like, you know, a necessity of life. Please, don't ever give me that again. Yeah, I would like to point out that I'm not usually this uh, high maintenance during meets. This was just a special circumstance. A lot just wasn't happening in my favor. And I mean, just goes to show when things do go in my favor, it's just gonna go that much better, so. <laughs> so we should have secured best lifter just now. I believe that was like, 568 pounds. Best lifter, the best female lifter, the yeah. whole comp. Best overall lifter. Are we done? Hey, what are we taking? What are we taking? Going Just for the icing. I, I think if you. Going up to that last deadlift, that third deadlift, we only bumped it up two and a half kilo. To put in perspective, I took an 18 kilo jump from my first to second jump and a two and a half kilo jump from my second to third. So very small. The reasoning why we did that is so if I missed um, my second pull, I'd have another shot at it for a third pull. Cause like I said, the, the ultimate goal was to hit best overall female lifter. Come on people, get behind Amanda, come on. <laughs> considering at the, at the beginning of the meets, I thought I was gonna die. Like, 
I didn't even know if I was going to be able to do it. But, man, it was just, I was like in shock. Like, it was hard to soak in because like, it was just like, it was just like so many ups and downs, like in just that short period of time. But since I switched to um, Joey for coaching, um, he really helped me like, just like nailing, like lock in the little things that I would always like do wrong or like what that would end up making me not go like, you know, eight for nine, nine for nine at meets. Like I just, I had a track record for a while before this where it was a lot of, I don't know, six for nine type meets. So I really think like I have proved to not only myself but others that I am capable of like putting together a full meet and be really, really competitive, you know, in all three lifts and, and hit them. I had the an amazing crew behind me that kept pushing me and told me, and, and you know, they were telling me like, get out of your head. Like Isaac was like, we have to squat now. You can't be thinking about, you just threw up. Like, you gotta, you, I, you just gotta get your head in the game. And they, and they were able to like turn me around and how somehow did it. <laughs> we did it? <laughs> oh, yeah. It wasn't even the minimum. We, we just put the ice on the set. World champ, baby! Oh my god, we did it! I was so worried after squats. I'm sorry to do that to you again. We're still getting rolled in a row. A lot of people ask, like, what makes world so special? And until, like, you're able to go there and, like, actually experience it, it's really hard to explain. It's just amazing to be able to see, you know, people around the world, people you don't get to see every day, you know, new faces, familiar faces, and all get to come together and, you know, lift. So I just wanted to say thank you to all the athletes that came out and congratulations to everybody. I had, it was such an honor to be able to share a platform with you. Just to throw up your orange juice. <laughs>